I caught a, a frame of, of Bryce in Parenthood. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. She, she, uh, she appeared, in, I think, in our final scene. And once in a while, she, she would show up in my movies as an extra. She was always interested. Well, you know, to see your daughter in that moment, I mean, it kind of brought it all together for yeah. me of, of being a parent, thinking about what you were going through. And, and... Well, that whole, that whole idea was born on a plane flight. We were going to do the movie with Michael Keaton uh, and Getty Watanabe, Gung Ho. And we couldn't get into any automobile plant in the U.S. It was, a, it was about Japanese company taking over right. an American automobile uh, plant. And uh, so we had to go to Buenos Aires where they would let us uh, use this one wing of this plant that was semi-shut down. And uh, well, um, Bryce was about mm, four years old and we had our twins, Jocelyn and Paige, were, were only about seven months old. So Bryce was maybe four and a half. And she was gonna sit next to me on this 17 hour flight. Now, we didn't ship ahead. We needed, we needed the diapers and the baby formula and all the stuff that we needed with us. So you were only allowed two carry-on items. I had 24 carry-on items. So I got the crew, it was a commercial flight, to all carry on stuff for me. And I was gonna, my job was to look after uh, Bryce on the flight. And uh, so they had this little vegetarian sushi um, dish. And, and uh, I said, do you want to try a sushi? There's no fish in it, it's just vegetarian. She said, okay. And she tried it, and within the first 40 minutes of the flight, she projectile vomited all over my shirt, and I had no change. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, God. And the babies were crying, and I was helping Cheryl, and we were just walking them and driving the crew crazy, and we got landed, and we got all 24 pieces of luggage, and I was pulling luggage off the carousel, just sweating like a pig, you know? I was like, you know, how old was I? 32, 33 years old. I was just like an old man, just suffering. And I just thought, nobody told me. Why wouldn't anybody tell me what this was like? I was feeling so sorry for myself. And I realized, oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. And I just started laughing while I was on the carousel. A little bit like Steve Martin is laughing at the end when he realizes it's chaos, but it's my life and I, it's what I want. And, and that's, that was the, so in a weird way, the emotion that, that sort of hatched that idea was kind of the emotion on Steve Martin's face there at the end of the movie.